I've wanted to write fiction for as long as I can remember. When I was a small child, I used to get my allowance on Friday afternoons. I got a quarter, 25 cents, that was my allowance. And for 25 cents, I could stop at the store on the way back from elementary school and buy my baseball cards, a comic book, and a little notebook, which had about eight pages, it was about this big, lined pages. And I would spend that weekend with that notebook writing what I called my stories. The stories weren't any good, but they did represent and maybe touch a side of myself that's always been important to me, the imaginative side, the side that takes flights of fancy. I knew from the time I was very young that I wanted to write fiction. I'd like to think that all of my novels, and indeed my nonfiction as well, have appealed to a Christian audience. But The Church Builder is my first foray into publishing explicitly with a Christian audience in mind. I've been asked a lot what made me decide to do that all of a sudden, but I don't know that it was all of a sudden. I think it's something, again, that's been percolating in me for a while that instead of my characters simply having religious lives, why not place certain religious themes at the heart of the story? And the heart of the story of the church builder is the great struggle in Western culture and society between faith on the one hand and the forces of secularism on the other. I'm a great believer in the separation of church and state but it's a metaphor that is badly misunderstood. I often remind my students, and too often I'm forced to remind reporters, that only the government can violate the separation of church and state. There's nothing a private person can do, there's nothing a church can do that violates separation of church and state. It's a constitutional rule. Only the government can violate it and it exists to protect the people of faith. It exists to protect the space in which people can reason together and work together toward what it is they believe that God requires of them. That is the only purpose that it has. This is something I've written about again and again. It finds its way often into my scholarship and it finds its way often into my fiction as well. And it's certainly something that I discuss in The Church Builder. Now there is one thing that people wonder, why am I publishing a church builder under a pseudonym? And I guess the answer is branding. I want the church builder series of books to stand out as something different and new, apart from what I've been doing in the past. By using a pseudonym, even an open pseudonym, I announce to the world, this is a set of books that's going in a different direction. It's not like my other fiction. It may be better, it may be worse. I don't think those are the right terms. It appeals to a particular taste, and it's a series. I've never attempted to do a series before, and I hope it's a series that'll stand on its own, independent of my other, of my other work, and will be an exciting, successful, and I hope, continuing one.